you already know I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of insight um, what goes on behind the scenes from my before you buy videos uh, specifically for my first look videos for my first look videos first things first I use Adobe Premiere Pro and I have my audio tracks within my recording I have a, um, a voice track and then a desktop which is like my game audio so you're gonna see two two uh, actual audio tracks here and then my main one. So I usually use the same template for my video. So, I, so I'm, I'm not actually starting from scratch. So I have my intro already here um, with my logo. I have Christmas music going, blah, blah, blah. Um, I have my supported creators ready to go, ready to play throughout my video. I have my ender already here too. So that makes it a lot easier already. So like I said, uh, I have two audio tracks and I actually use my audio to edit um, I don't even really worry about the actual gameplay, but I worry about where I'm specifically talking. And I've been doing this for two years now, so I've kind of figured out what works for me to get uh, these edits done quicker. So I have a, um, this is the Delirium, that was his name, right? Delirium uh, outfit here. I start recording 30, r roughly 30 seconds before the item shop resets, um, just to make sure the recording is going. There's no, there's no problems there. Um, so I start talking right around, uh, I want to say like 10 seconds within the item shop. Partner. So I'm testing my sounds. I'm coughing, getting anything out. We're at 10 seconds. I'm going to set an end point right here. You already know it is. Mark it out. I'm going to drag this to my timeline. So now I'm going to start working off of just that initial part of me talking. Like I said, I'm paying attention to my sound levels here. So I actually have to set this to frame size. I actually recorded, I recorded 900p. Um, you would think it's 1080, although I, I slightly upscale it to make it 1080p. So I have, you know, a dip to black, a film dissolve. I have my Gaussian blur already set here. So now with my intro here, I'm going to turn down these audio tracks, obviously, because I did a cough. I'm testing my effects. Um, just judging by where I'm talking right here, this is where I say Fortnite. So I'm actually going to cut right here, turn down the game volume again. So just so no one's confused game volume voice the voice is dramatically different in terms of visually so i'm going to drag my music here i'm going to go to my audio transitions constant power so now it's going to fade Fire. into that Ooh, game music is there i'm going to drag out my clip um this looks like where i say yes yes there it was so this is pretty much where i do my spiel for support creator what, excuse me your support creator that's so I'll drop it in right here. I'm going to cut. I'm going to drag to my next part where I start speaking. Bunch them together. Constant power. So there's not an abrupt change between my voice. Um, you can do like any kind of uh, filter there. Transition. Yeah, zero. Pizza with a zero. You know we're getting it. Yes. The burning blades. Okay. This is where I say yes again because I know what it looks like within my recording. So you know we're, we're going to come it. here. Yes. Constant power again. Added it dissolve is what I'm using. Holy, the burning beast. I think I talked about this one for a while. Okay, I didn't say yes there. I said, <laughs> so that one looks different. <laughs> and I have to remember that in my recording or I could have skipped that part. And then I come to the weapon wrap here. So I just scrubbed a little further. Um, there's not really a change there with my voice because I'm not cutting off my voice recording. The burning glyph. This is cool. So then I, I buy it. to say, it looks really. I'm going to clip at the end of my yes. Yes! I'm going to clip it right there, and then I'm going to drag out my clip. And I know, like, this source monitor is here, so you guys can actually scrub through specific parts you're recording. But what I specifically do when I record is I only speak when I need that to be within my edit. So you can see right here, there's a lot of dead space within my recording. It's because I'm not going to put that in my video. I know I'm not. There's probably a part here where I coughed. Like, this is probably a cough. I could probably bet you. I coughed right here. I went, or something. Watch. I coughed. See, I know that. But I know I'm not going to need that. So I'm just going to come to the part where I start speaking. Um, this is when I got into the game. We're, we're showcasing the glider first. Now, since this is in the super fresh recording, I don't exactly know what order I did it. But I'm pretty sure I did the glider first. And then I did the gameplay, weapon wrap, sweaty 90s, etc. I don't know what else to say. It looks... Now I have to do a constant power for my yes to fade Looks into really my gameplay. Good. You know we're getting it. Yes. 
first things first the burning beast i don't like that dead space there so i'm going to drag it a little closer to when i start speaking do a dip to black because we're we're changing from locker to gameplay so i like to do a different transition to separate locker stuff and then gameplay so a dip to black before i did a dissolve yes first things first the burning beast legendary glider um, I don't believe I messed this up at all. I was talking about it. We're good. I respawned. We're good. It is rotating. I don't even have to watch that again. Like, the, if you spend time watching your content, like, I know for a fact when I recorded this fresh, fresh on my mind, I didn't mess up my commentary there. So I know I, I didn't have any redos. I didn't have to respawn. I didn't have to change it. And um, we, we can do a dip to black again because we're showcasing, like, a different item now. The Burning Glyph Weapon Wrap. First impressions really cool ads with my man here it's not so i'm pretty sure okay yeah good just making sure i know where i'm at so i can slip my supporter i usually try to slip in my supporter crater again around the five minute mark assuming it's not in the part of my sweaty 90s so i don't remember the order of what i did my 90s here since i'm flying i'm pretty sure i did my 90s already uh no it looks like i did them later looks like i did the 90s at the very end okay there's the 90s Okay, I'm doing my 90s here. So it's the let's just get to the, the beginning of that. Cool. Um, obviously, started the 90s. I'm gonna clip right there to make this its own. I'm actually I'm just cutting right here. And what you guys don't see is I also have sweaty 90s music within a muted track at the bottom here. So since this M is highlighted, you're never gonna hear anything in here. But I have it within my uh, project to just drag up when I need it. So I can just drag my sweaty 90 music up here. Um, I'm actually not going to support a creator there. I'm probably going to do it before. Sweaty so, so 90s music is now playing the at that spot. The legendary glider. Get to the part when I stop. Is it unique? I don't know what they kind of... It's... It's... I'm... Regardless. Okay, that's about where I stop. So I'm going to drag my music. I'm going to go... I have like a, a preset to do the cinematic bars top and bottom. So my crop is now on that clip. That's why I cut the clip so I could put those cinematic effects only on my sweaty 90s part. So now I actually use a luminary or lum lum lumetry. I always call it luminary, but it's not. I do like a Cinespace 25 to make the um, it obviously, more dramatic. The colors look more dramatic. So seeing as there's a really big spot here, me not talking. Good with him. But regardless, I want to show him without a back bling now. Without a back bling. I usually don't use the transition at this spot. Um, but I did go to a glider rant here. So I'm going to do a cross or a, yeah, a constant power here. Dip to black because we're we're transitioning right, from we're transitioning from in game sound to lobby music. So I don't want the audio to just cut right to I want it to like blend in back together. Okay, I am completely wrong. There are probably one of the most unique in terms of a legendary rarity for a glider so i'm talking about gliders here i'm actually going to make these a little bigger so i can see my voice bars a little easier i'm going to cut here i'm pretty sure this is where i have the no back bling part constant power because we're transitioning from game volume uh, lobby music to in-game sound and last but not least here's dominion without his arnold schwarzenegger in the terminator movie went into like the lava this is him now. Kind of a stretch. So anyways, so now I'm going to do the rating within the glider and the harvesting tool. So the glider part, the, the cool thing that Fortnite does now, I, I didn't like it at first. When, like, so I use windowed full screen because I alt tab a lot to do things on my editor monitor over here. So whenever I'm using my epic pin tool to draw onto uh, my screen, it mutes Fortnite. So that means I have, I don't have to turn off, but if, even if I didn't, um, if it didn't mute it, I could just turn down the game volume right here. That's why it's nice to have two different uh, recordings for your audio, your voice, and um, your voice and the gameplay. So now I have more 2090s music what I use to do uh, my ratings for. It feels a little weird to rate a glider. So does it match the given rate? So I did the glider, I I won't. a glider here. I'm going to cut. I'm going to come over here to my pickaxes the burn a little bit too much of a break there i'm gonna dip to black i don't have to dissolve the gameplay because it's you can't even hear it because i'm alt tapped already the burning beast the burning blitz come blitz. here 
that looks like a yoink. Yoink. There it is. I'm gonna cut. That's where I'm gonna drag my 90s, sweaty 90s music over to. And this is the weapon. Actually, I stand corrected. There's also a weapon wrap I had to review. So cut to the point where I stop talking. That means I'm done with that part. And then this is my outro. 10 out of 10. Now, since I'm usually emoting for my outro, I am going to have to constant power uh, the game volume because you're going to hear me dancing. It's going to be like an abrupt music of me dancing. So the, the only two audio transitions I use are constant power and exponential fade. Think of a constant power as like it's, it's merging them together and they're just going to seamlessly go like past each other. And exponential fade is like we're fading all the way to nothing and we're coming back up. So I like to just cross them together because I don't like that weird spot of like dead like no sound yoink and with that being said guys like so this is gonna say see ya see ya now what you do have to keep in mind with this editing style that i use is you have to understand and remember where you messed up your commentary because i, I don't go off of a script when i do any of these so if i know like sometimes i'll i'll say like harvesting i'll mess up and i'll see myself stop i'll give myself like three seconds and then I'll start it again. And then I'll know like, hey, that looks like a spot where I messed up. And then I like, like I, I know what filters I use. I use cross zoom sometimes uh, for my outro because it kind of pushes in with like the drop in the music you'll see here. See ya. Like w when the transition stops, that's when my music hits. See ya. So we got that. So the recording in total took me Where's the, how long was the recording? Here's a recording right here. It took me 16 minutes to record this. Uh, I don't know how long this recording is. 10, maybe four to 12 minutes here. So then at this spot, um, I will do a quick, you, you gotta really get used to command or control S or command S if you're on Mac. Consistently save your project, let it render. Um, so the, the cross zoom that I use for the outro, it requires a little bit of render. So I have to hit enter to kind of uh, render out that transition. So I can kind of come through here, make sure I have, um, you know, sometimes I'll forget my Gaussian blur on my intro and it'll look like this. Obviously I have that preset already. So I just drag it onto there. Um, whatever you can do to make your editing quicker for yourself I would do so there's a lot of things here that i have already pre-made so if i have um let's let's just say for instance this is like okay so i would have been done with this video already i would i would control s so i'd roughly go through and make sure you know everything's good i'll come over here to export um i'll give it a name i'll export it while this is exporting and rendering it'll take maybe like four minutes to render this nine minute video roughly because i don't have a lot of weird transitions all my videos rendering is when I come here to like my first look and again, I have a template already made So I'll just come in here Do this. Um, I don't I don't think I have a, de a delirium um, Screenshot that I get in replay mode so that this is when I would start like doing my um, My thumbnail for the video. So it's kind of like time management to the max to get this video out as quickly as possible um so the video would be rendering right now so just to give you guys another idea of let's say um let's say my my camera for this recording was in the bottom left okay 2019 I hope and i wanted to go to, to my camera i wanted the video to go to my camera down there so i have a bottom left camera preset and this is where my camera would normally be so you can whenever you'd like do a preset in adobe premiere Let's like, I, I named this one bottom left camera 900 because the, the resolution I'm using is 900p. Um, so whenever you do like the scale and positioning, you can just right click, save the preset and name it whatever you would like. So I already have one for my Gaussian blur here, which I've already uh, made a preset Gaussian blur 100 and so forth. So whatever makes it quicker for you to get content out, especially for me, like I'm racing really against the clock like here. Good. All of this helps me in the long run. So yeah, it's I. <laughs> it's really weird to think that I edit by looking at uh, my voice, like my sound levels there within my recording. And um, 
yeah and that's that's pretty much it um hopefully this was informative for you obviously there's a lot of key binds i can learn to possibly make um this go a little bit quicker for me but i've i've kind of just been doing it like this for so long um it'd be hard to kind of get muscle memory into some key binds but definitely there's key binds to probably even make this a little bit quicker for myself but that is pretty much how I do my first look videos. <laughs>